You're perched on a bar stool, phone in hand, ready to pounce on a coveted restaurant reservation. The clock ticks, each second an eternity. Five minutes pass, then ten. Where is that elusive table? And why does it feel like an hour has passed? You're not alone. Welcome to the curious world where minutes stretch into hours and seconds become years. In today's hyper-fast world, time has taken on a life of its own. But what if I told you these temporal twists aren't quirks of fate, but reflections of a fascinating psychological game? If you've ever found yourself locked in a battle with the clock, this video is your decoder. We'll unravel the patterns of human perception, revealing why a five-minute wait can feel eternal, and what that reveals about the human brain. Time isn't just a tick-tock on the clock. It's a kaleidoscope of human experience. Imagine sitting in a dentist's chair, waiting for your turn. The clock slows, every second stretched into agony. Yet when you're engrossed in a film, hours vanish in the blink of an eye. What's behind this time warp? Your brain houses an internal clock, the super schismatic nucleus, regulating sleep, metabolism, and hormones. But this timekeeper isn't immune to influence. Your brain builds a subjective sense of time shaped by emotions and focus. When you're anxious or bored, waiting for a late friend, moments drag. When you're absorbed in joy, time evaporates. This is the time attention leak. What captures your focus dictates how time flows. External cues matter too. Think of being stuck in an elevator with nothing to see or hear. Without sensory landmarks, our internal clocks lose rhythm. Seconds blur into minutes. Minutes into what feels like hours. Time loses its linearity and becomes a loop. Now, why does waiting drive us crazy? Enter uncertainty. Think of endless queues or flight delays with no updates. The unknown keeps our brains on high alert, crunching probabilities, straining our patience. This cognitive load breeds frustration. Anticipation distorts time too. A job interview, a first date, the last seconds of a suspenseful film. These moments hang heavy. Evolution explains this. For early humans, high stakes moments, like spotting a predator, demanded hyper awareness. Our brains compress time, sharpen focus. That wiring still lingers, making anticipation feel both frozen and timeless. Stuck in traffic, staring at blinking lights, many of us reach for our phones. It's a coping mechanism. Distraction creates the illusion of control, but there's a cost. Constant micro-distractions train us to crave instant rewards, weakening patience and delayed gratification. Then, there's injustice in waiting. Someone cutting ahead in line. Waiting strips us of control, leaving us at the mercy of external forces. That helplessness fuels anxiety and frustration. Not all waits are equal. Some, like before a concert, build excitement. That's a good wait. Positive emotions sweeten the delay. Others, like waiting for a bus in the rain, magnify discomfort. That's a bad wait. The outcome determines how bearable the wait feels. But waiting can be transformed. Concert pre-shows with friends and opening acts turn delays into shared experience. Theme parks design immersive cues to make waiting part of the ride. Done well, waiting becomes part of the memory. Waiting triggers a spectrum of emotions. Joy, frustration, anxiety, hope. Understanding the psychology lets us navigate it. Whether uncertainty, helplessness, or anticipation, each scenario offers both challenge and insight. Next time you're waiting, pause. Notice your feelings, impatient, distracted, or making the most of it. That awareness is a key to understanding how we bend time in our own minds. Sometimes waiting is unavoidable. Picture the sneaker release line. You endure because the reward is worth it. Contrast that with waiting for a bus in the rain. There the wait is necessity, not desire. Motivation shapes how we endure. Length matters too. Short wait for a friend feels trivial. A long airport delay feels unbearable. Even bad news about timing helps because clear expectations reduce anxiety. Control matters. When you choose from a menu, you're in control. The wait feels manageable. Waiting for medical test results strips that control away magnifying stress. Culture shapes waiting too. In some societies, cues are respected. In others, cutting in line is common. These norms shape our tolerance, frustration, or acceptance of delay. Technology blurs waiting and doing. 
Waiting for an appointment? You check emails. The time feels productive, eh? But constant partial attention erodes deep focus over time. Services like Uber or DoorDash train us to expect immediacy, reshaping our patience elsewhere. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps support our work. Thanks for being here. Online shopping, telemedicine, streaming, all give us speed and convenience, but they can also strip away tactile or personal experiences. Instant gratification is changing how we weigh patience against reward. AI and chatbots deliver instant responses, but at the risk of weakening face-to-face -face communication and empathy, small delays, buffering videos, loading pages, now feel unbearable. Our patience threshold is shrinking. Waiting remains a mirror of the human condition. From frustration to anticipation, boredom to joy, each wait tells us something about how we live and what we value. So next time you're caught in the current of time, remember, you're not just waiting. You're moving through a psychological labyrinth where seconds can stretch into hours, and anticipation can feel as thrilling as the reward itself.